Plenty of PIAA action in boys volleyball this weekend as well. A state triple header at Wyomissing High School on Saturday featuring two of our area teams. District 11 champion Northampton got things started with a quarterfinal clash against District 1's winner in Neshaminy. Not much problem for Neshaminy in opening round action. A three-set sweep over George Washington. The K-Kids, meanwhile, they were pushed to the brink in the first round, eating all five sets to eliminate District 3's Warwick. Cassie Schmidt joins us with more. The Northampton faithful was out in full support on Saturday afternoon for the state quarterfinal contest in Wyomissing. Kids hoping to extend the record-breaking season in the program's first trip to a PIAA semifinal. And it'd be a heck of a start for Northampton, jumping out to the seven-point lead early on thanks to Alex Shanin's kill up the middle for a 14-7 advantage. Neshaminy, however, not backing down. They'd use a 6-3 run to tie things up at 20. They would then take their first lead off the block that would be called just inside the lines, going up now 21-20. Shanin, though, coming to the rescue with some big points in the final stretch of the first. Tied at 21 and 22, but it's Jackson Fainel with the exclamation point to take the opener by a 25-22 final. Believe it or not, set two even tighter than the first. Neither squad with more than a two-point advantage. The ace, late by Nolan Yost, breaks the 26-26 tie. And then it's Johnny Martinez to serve with the 28-27 game point. The ace seals it for the kids coming out with a monstrous two-set lead over Neshaminy. Set three looking like Northampton would close things out via the sweep. Three straight aces from Shannon makes it 6-3 early on. The lead would swell to four midway through thanks to a Martinez kill giving the kids a 16-12 advantage. Neshaminy responds though going on a 6-1 run taking the lead at 19-17. From there, the kids couldn't get it back as they will take it 25-23, making it now two sets to one in favor of Northampton. The Chamonix using that momentum from the third into the fourth. They control it from the jump and end up taking set four 25-16 to tie things up at two sets apiece and force a fifth. But just as they did against Warwick, the kids would come out and dominate in the final set. Three straight points from Shane in two off the block and the kill, making it six to one kids. They'd stretch that lead to as much as seven in the fifth as the kids will end it on the block, this time from Martinez as Northampton wins it 15-7 and the match three sets to two. We're feeling really good. The whole team, us seniors especially, we know it could be our last game at any moment, our last time at any point. But we're going in with everything we got so we don't got any regrets when, when our season's done. Uh, it's amazing. I'm really, I'm really stoked. Uh, everyone on the team wants to be here. Everyone loves playing. We've been playing for years, and I'm just happy to keep playing with the boys. The historic season is still alive for the Concrete Kids, who were not going to let that fifth set get away from them, and once again, in dominating fashion, advance via a five-set thriller. Uh, it feels great. You know, I thought we would have finished them in three, but we got down those two sets, and fifth one we knew we weren't going home. You know, we didn't want this to be our last game played together, so we, we came out. That's the same thing we did versus Warwick. Fifth game, we went crazy and we got the win easily. It was definitely the mentality. The fourth and fifth, uh, third and fourth set were a little rough and shaky, but we picked up the fifth set because we know we wanted to win and not give up our season there. Reporting for the Service Electric Network, I'm Cassie Schmidt. Thanks a lot, Cassie, and congratulations to the Concrete Kids. Northampton now 23 and 2 overall this season in the midst of a five game postseason winning streak, now heading into the state semifinals on Tuesday. Kids were led once again by senior Alex Shane, who tallied 17 kills, four aces, three blocks, and 11 digs on Saturday. Johnny Martinez notched a team high five blocks. While well, sophomore Landon Nickasher had himself uh, quite the afternoon on Saturday with nine kills, a block, and two digs. Now, 